you know, it was much about the other side. So this is the room which the um, pipes will be deployed in. And there are, the ceiling is over 10 and a half feet high. There are pipes that are 10 and a half feet high. So that's why the ceiling is so tall. And in this room are where all the pipes, the major pipes are arrayed and they are in chambers called wind chambers chambers and the air that will feed the wind chambers comes from a blower that will be in this side room and that comes out and fills an air reservoir that then um, sends the air to the different wind chambers there's one long wind chamber here another wind chamber here and one over in that corner and all of the pipes are on there. <clears throat> then there is another set of smaller pipes down in the front of this opening here, which leads to the sanctuary. That will have a screen, so much like what is in the organ up front, so that the sound will carry out of there. Between the small sets of pipe in the front and the larger sets back here, there is what is called a swell shade, which is a set of louvers. They're wooden panels that are um, on a vertical axis and they can be opened and closed depending on how much sound you wish to have go out. So if you don't want the sound, you close them entirely and only have the sound from the front ones. And then if you want the full sound, you can open the louvers as much as you like, which will let out less or more sound. It's the sound control. All of these pipes are controlled from the console, which is near the front where the current one is, um, the new console will be at 90 degrees with the keyboard facing the outside wall so the organist will be facing the altar. All of these pipes are activated by a digital cable. So when the organist plays the keys, it sends a signal by means of cable to a relay box, which is, will be on a wall on this side of the chamber. It's a three foot by three foot box. And so all of the signals come into it. It's all digital. And then depending on which key is played, it opens whatever pipes need to be open. Um, so that's sort of a basic overview. And we are now in the phase of starting to build the room where the pipes will be in. As you can see, it goes up into the attic space so we had to take out the previous ceiling and raise the roof the seat the current ceiling to accommodate the height of the pipes that's the attic space right there are there any questions <laughs> mcneil thank you so much well, thank you